Welcome. In this video, we're talking about the role of suspension. When we talk about the suspension in general, many people first think only of dampers and springs. In this video, we explain that there are many other components that work together with those two. Okay, Mustafa, here are the damper and spring. Other components are here in front of you. Right, the related parts that should always be replaced when shock absorbers are exchanged. Why is it so important not to forget a component? In order to maintain driving safety and comfort at the highest level, it's important that other suspension components are always checked in the course of shock absorber replacement. We're now looking at that on the vehicle. The strut bearing is the link between the suspension and the chassis on the vehicle, which also enables the rotational movement of a McPherson strut. The suspension spring determines the vehicle height and also converts undulations on the road into vibrational energy. Our vibration damper specifically controls it and ensures the tire's traction on the road, ensuring a compromise between ride comfort and driving safety. The dust boot has the task of protecting the shock absorber, the piston rod, as well as the seals from stone impact. The pressure stop buffer restricts the spring deflection so that the components are protected and free movement of the wheel is ensured. Other related parts such as the coupling rod with a stabilizer reduce the rolling motion. The wishbone, tie rod end, and tie rod ensure the correct axle geometry. Mustafa has just shown the vehicle components that belong to the suspension. Now let's imagine that we've done our test drive and our fault analysis and know which parts need to be replaced. Rainer, where can I obtain these Bistein spare parts from? You can get the parts from the trade, from wholesalers. That's the link here. Of course, we also have our own online catalog on the Bilstein website, where I can simply make a selection and then see all sorts of other supporting information. Is a normal OE replacement damper available there? Is there perhaps a higher performance B6 damper, which we've tested again specifically in the road test? Or what other related parts do I need? It's all in this online catalog. Now I have the parts with me, but I'm having a bit of trouble fitting them. Can you help me there too? Absolutely. The parts fit in just as easily as the original. Simply follow the installation instructions of the vehicle manufacturer. If we notice that a small issue might regularly occur, we make our own installation instructions instructions, which of course are always very similar to the original. But you can see that there is much more information and even videos. That means for air springs and air suspension modules, we sometimes have videos where you can see in short, concise sequences what the important points are. And well, if there is ever a problem, we are always available to offer advice. In this episode, we saw which components are related to the suspension. For us at Bistein, it's important that we are both talking about the assembly as a whole, not just springs and dampers, but all the components that surround them and work together. Do you have any questions about the suspension? Please feel free to contact our colleagues from the Bistein Academy at any time via the workshop portal on our website. <laughs>